This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert a chart using Microsoft Excel and we're going to start from scratch. So the information that I want to use is going to be the months of the year on the x-axis and the amount of sales on the y-axis. So I'm going to type in the label for the x-axis, which is month, and then I'm going to type the months of the year. But I'm going to use a little trick as to how to do that. Now Excel normally recognizes any consecutive patterns, whether it's months of the year, days of the week, or any numerical uh, patterns. So I'm typing in January and February, then I'm highlighting both of them, and going over to the lower right hand corner until I see the fill handle, I'm going to click the mouse, hold, and then drag all the way down until December. Now I want two years so I'm going to continue for another year, all the way down until December, and then release. Now I'm going to enter in the sales amount. So the label for the y-axis is going to be sales. And I need to go all the way down to December. But another trick is to do this. I'm going to highlight all the sales that I want to populate. And I'm, then I'm going to simply start from the top. And I'm going to just type in any number, hit tab, type in the number, press tab and allows me to go down the column pretty quickly. So I'm just entering anything just to get some numbers in here. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm going to select everything and then go to the Insert tab and choose a chart that I want to use. And I want to use a column chart, a 3D column chart, the first one to the, on the left and there's your chart. I'm going to expand it and if you're looking at it you're probably wondering okay you've got two years down here but which years are they? That's a good question. So what I'm going to do is type another label which will be year and next to the first year from January through December I'm going to select those cells then click merge and center then type in 2010 now I'm going to select the next set of cells from January through December, click Merge and Center, and then type in 2011. Now I need to add this to the chart, so I'm going to click anywhere in the white area, right click I should say, anywhere in the white area of the chart, go down to Select Data and select it, and then select everything again. And as you can see, even before I click OK, the years have been separated from 2010 and 2011. So now I click OK. What if I want to enter in the number of sales? Maybe the sales, maybe this is the monetary amount, so I'll put, just put a dollar sign here. And what if I want to enter in how many were sold? So I'm going to make another heading and put sales amount. And once again, I'm going to highlight the column because I'm just going to enter in some single digit numbers and press tab after I enter in single digit numbers. So let's start there. And I'm just pressing the numbers in tab and going all the way down the column. Now I need to add this to the chart. I'm going to right click anywhere in the white area, go down to select data, and select everything once again, and click OK. Now you see both pieces of information in the same chart. The blue column represents the sales in the dollar amount. The red column represents how many items were sold. Now we can change the design of this chart by clicking on the design tab and in the charts layout section you can expand it and you can see the various types of layouts and I'm going to choose layout number nine because it automatically inserts an axis title uh, for both the X and Y axis. So I'm going to change this to, let's just type in sales on the x-axis and for the y-axis uh, we're going to ty type in uh, dollar amount. And you can also give it a title and I'm just going to type in sales. Now you can format these columns several different ways. Well what if you want to change the color of the column? What I'm going to do is just click on one column to select it and then right click on the column then go down to format data series. 
when you see the format data series dialog box comes up I'm going to select fill and then click solid fill and change the color I'm going to select black and then click close now what if you want to change the color of just one column well I'm going to click it again and you'll see the dots above just this one column and then, then I'm going to right click this column go down to format data point and then go to fill and then select a different color we'll go back to yellow and then click close and as you can see this is the only column to have changed colors and that's a basic way of inserting a chart using Microsoft Excel if you have any questions please email me once again my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time